Morning, y'all. It's Queen Chingling on here. Uh, I just wanted to get up this morning. I've been busy all night working on numbers and stuff and trying to um, actually figure out a new way to read this chart, which I did. I've been, I tell you what, oh, Queen Chingling, the, the more she studied, the more she learned. And the more I learn, the more I earn. I tell you what, um, Yeah, I was sitting there and I was looking at numbers. Of course, you all know I look at numbers from different states. I don't have any one certain state. Um, I look at everybody else's state more than I do my own state, which is South Carolina. I was sitting here. And um, thinking about how significant a draw number is. Y'all wouldn't think about that too much. I don't... I wouldn't think that you would. I mean... You know, you really got to give consideration to the number that fell in order to pick out the next draw number that's going to hit the next draw. I don't know if... Did you, I hope y'all understood that. I was here. I just got through eating some uh, homemade... I guess y'all call them toast pizza. <laughs> pizza on a piece of loaf bread. Man, that thing was good. Oh, my Lord. He put you some cheese and marinara sauce and pepperoni and stuff and dotted that thing up. Well, that's almost like Jim House cooking. Um, but, y'all, yeah, let me um, pull me some numbers up on this other phone over here. <laughs> I know what I want to look up. I don't... I want to continue on with my Mississippi right here. This is what I want to do. Uh, because Mississippi, y'all knew. I know a lot of folks out there. I know how you feel when you knew and you always been wanting the lottery. You never could get the lottery. And finally, one day, voila, you got it. And you're just ready to hit. You're ready to make that dollar. All right, well. I was uh, sitting here. Trying to pull up this darn Mississippi right here. All right, because I want to see what the next draw is. And, and any of y'all that want to follow along with me, be, be, feel free to follow along with me because I, I feel like you're going to learn something in this video. This is about... This is about reading my chart, actually. And... For y'all in Mississippi that don't know it, I have developed a chart which is super, super accurate. And I'm, like, blown away by it. I don't remember anybody yet so far from Mississippi that got my chart. But, um, y'all only, I've been, I've only known Mississippi had a lottery for about a couple of weeks now. And I've been trying to explain stuff and just going over it. And watching these numbers fall. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to pretend. Like. I'm going to look for the next draw. For Mississippi. Pretend like I'm going to go play. Tomorrow. Or the next day or whatever day. Okay. So I, I want to go back to this number. I want to go back to. Uh, we're going to find out and see what was going to fall on the 20th. Of course, we all know. Our, we all know what fell on the 20th because it's already fallen. And this is already the 24th, okay? So, I was a bit blown away by tonight because I did play here in South Carolina. All right. And I didn't do any work yet. I just did it straight out of my head. And when I looked on the chart, I was like, okay, yeah, that's it. It was like maybe, only took me like maybe two or three minutes. And I kind of got carried away with myself a little bit. I always said you got to take a little bit more time than just two or three minutes to actually see and work out something. So, <clears throat> going into Mississippi, we're going to go back to the 20th. Actually, I'm going to go back to the 19th, okay? And this one I'm going to do. I'm going to add a date to get the date sum. Yes, somebody, 
I'm finally giving into that date sum thing. I mean, I, I wasn't into it at first. I didn't really understand the date sum. And I'm beginning now to figure out how it ain't so bad. It really ain't so bad. I just, a lot of people have talked about it. And a lot of people tried the date sum and hadn't hit it. And then I tried the date sum and it hadn't hit it. And then we just kind of like, well, screw this date sum stuff. But now I'm not beginning to. <clears throat> begin to have second thoughts out there because the date sum combined with the draw sum combined with the chart is like spot the hell on. Did you not hear me? It like spot the hell on. Now, oh my goodness. If I'm going to look for the 20th, like say, let's pretend it's Saturday night, y'all draw this hit. The draw was 136 from the 19th, okay? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm looking at, I'm looking for what's going to fall on the 20th, which is, watch this, 9, and my pen, not all right, I've seen the let the darn thing dry out. Oh, man. It's 9, 2, oh. So you're going to say 9 plus two plus zero equals one one okay then what you're going to say is take the draw i mean the draw last draw all right this is the sunday this is sunday this is not representing saturday saturday okay, we're out of saturday one three six fell on saturday okay but since we're looking for sunday we're going with um September 20th, 9.20, okay? Now let's add up the draw sum. You had 1, 3, 6 is what fell, okay? We're going to say 1 plus 3 plus 6 equals 10. They're going to say 10 plus 11 equals what? That's simple. 21. Alright. Now, with all said and done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on here. I'm actually, what I'm going to do first, since um, the last draw was 136, I'm going to look up here on my chart at the ones, okay? And I'm going to look for 21. I got 21 all over the page. Okay. 21. Alright. And this is what I get off of 21. Which this can be flipped and mirrored. Okay. I'm looking up at the top of the chart. At first what I'm seeing... My first eye catches, oh, my pen ain't wanting right, it catches 909. And then when I go over here toward the corner, okay, alright, since, look at this, since the sum is 10, okay, I mean the date sum is 10, you can't use the 1. You cannot use the 1 because there is no. 10 in lotto math, but you can use a zero. So I'm going to go down on the zero line over here and I'm going to look at the 21. Okay, and sure enough, next to the con 21 connected, now your 2 and your 1 has got to be together, is 995. And sure enough, that's what fell for. Sunday, September 20th. Let me go back on this again. I hope my pen will continue to write. Uh, I don't want to use this. I was sitting there doing ticks. <laughs> Alright. Now, mind you, yes, I'm using the chart, okay? I'm using the chart. And if you want the chart, you have to give me a call. I'll tell you how to get the chart. Um, 
Yes, it's going to cost a little bit. Not much. It's just, but I'm telling you, boy, you can do so much with this thing. Um, one of my little fellas, I forget what his name was, Johnny, something like that. I haven't been able to get to talk with you yet, but I will talk with you sometime later today, and I'll explain to you. I'll probably give you a call. I'll explain to you how this works if you didn't understand the other video, if you haven't seen the video. All right, so last night, uh, well, I ain't going to say what last night's draw. Let's go to the 23rd, because I want to back it up, and I want to show that, yeah, I, pick, I can pick out what fell for last night. All right, so on the 23rd, the date was 9-23. Here you go, 9 plus 2 plus 3 equals 14. All right. Then what fell on the 23rd was 802. So you're going to say 802, that's what fell. You're going to say 8 plus 0 plus 2. Ah, uh, now you give me some more pen. Equals 10. Alright, uh, therefore, 14 plus 10 equals 24. Okay, I pen it right and right. So, on the chart, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to go back up here to the 8 since. The last draw was uh, 802. We'll go up here to the 8. So I'm going to look for my 24. And sure enough, when I look at the 28, and like I said, the 2 and the 8 has got to be together. It's got to be together. All right, and the reason I say that this number is significant, okay, this is the, the draw before on the 23rd, and it begins with the 8, 802. I'm going to go up on the line where the 8s are on the chart. All right. And I'm going to look for 24 on that same line or um, actually connected with the 8s. And sure enough, I see it. And you ain't going to believe what's next to it. They write it down, and it's connected to that 24. So the 24 was connected to the 8, which is connected to the 6, 4, 7. Now, that's what I say reading the chart is all about. Y'all, this is Queen Chingling. Um... For y'all that have got the chart, I hope y'all understand that. If you want to give me a call and talk about it and let's go over it and then I'll, I will help you continue to learn more about reading the chart. You know, some, we're, I'm just like y'all. I know I developed the chart. I had one way. I only had one way of reading it at first. Then I sit and study and I was thinking about it more. How do I read the chart? And I, I kept studying and studying. I said, there's something. We know that the chart is very accurate. We know it's on here and designed a certain way. Now I've done found a third way to read the chart. And I like this third way a lot better than that last way that I had. Um, because the fact, I think, the fact, I think the, the real reason... Why I think it actually works is it because it involves the date, it involves the last draw, it involves adding up to get the sum of the date, adding up the sum to get the sum of the last draw. Uh, it just works. In fact, I tell you what, I'm sitting here looking at this now. If you were to add two and four together from the 24, which is what we were looking at, on the chart, you would get the number 6, which is 6 was the first number of the next draw, which fell last night. Now you're seeing 
Queen Chingling. Get me the number for tonight from Mississippi. All right. I don't do that. I don't give out numbers for states. Okay. First of all, if I do give out a number, um, it'll just be a freebie. It'll be a quickie. But the second of all, the minute the gaming commission hears me rattling right my mouth off about the number, they're going to hit a button and voila. They're just going to knock it off. It just simply disappear. Uh, I ain't gonna have that. So therefore, if you want the number from in, from Mississippi for what's gonna hit for today, throw a little in my cash app. Give me a call, and I will definitely help you out on that. If you want any number for any other state, like I said, throw some in that cash app. Call me up, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh. You want to chart? Give me a call on that phone, that landline, or not landline, that's not landline, we got a cell phone. Give me a call, and I'll tell you how to get the chart, or text, you can text me, whatever. Y'all, this be Queen Chingling, and I am going to leave my phone numbers in the description below. I try to put my phone number in every video in the description box below, so y'all can get it. It's very easy to get. If not, just hit that comment section below. Ask me, Queen, what's your phone number? I'll help you out. And uh, hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the greatest. And we'll talk at you later. Ciao, y'all.